Anyways, stuff we could get to slightly left of here, but it's just a dead end, so... Just, uh, tricking you into thinking there is an actual way to go over there. Also, I am now very curious. I may have missed a thing. I'll have to go back and double check. I think I did miss, miss a thing up in that upper area. Because looking at the map of where we are now... Looks like we just have one Metroid left over here. I don't think it's down here. Yeah. So yeah, um, I could have already had the Plasma Beam. But again, that's okay. Doesn't matter all that much. Yeah, that's a bit too far of a fall. <laughs> The amount of energy we lose doesn't really matter overly much, because in that little area of stuff that I missed, there's another energy tank, so our energy will be restored back to full anyways. Also, hey, we've uh, passed the halfway part. Well, halfway mark. Pretty much we started with those 39 Metroids total. And now we have 18, so, yeah. I don't think we're at the halfway mark on number of areas in the game, insofar as the number of times, uh, lava will come, uh, you know, uh, not... Yeah, it, it, the lava will recede. There we go. I was thinking the lava will come bubbling up, but, um, no, it doesn't do that. It does the opposite. I mean, generally lava does exactly that. It's kind of what it does, but... In this game, they decided to reverse the usual. is where we would almost be able to get through to where we just were, where I was mentioning the dead end that makes it almost look like you can maybe get somewhere, but, um, yeah. That's why it's only an almost and a maybe. You can't actually get through there. So we may have to take different path to get out of here, but we'll see. Maybe able to make this work. Be really annoying with the space jump, but yes. And again, I would not advise taking that route. There is another route to the left of here where I believe you can get through. So, back up we go to get back to, uh, fairly sure the hidden area will be. And if it is not where I think it is, then um, we'll be at a total loss as how we will actually get into this area, and I'll have to uh, start checking other things, but we'll see. Pretty sure it is exactly this thing up ahead. Alright. Anyway. Now we get to deal with these jerks again. And again on the way back out. Seriously. 
really annoying placement of enemies. Right on back down here. Nice to finally be in the area. Yeah. In an area with music again, even if it is this music. Right, so, back down here to this area where we can, in fact, fall through. Dig down to the floor. And get to an area where we can fall. Eh, fall even further. Okay, and this gets us exactly where we want to be. Alright, so we've got another couple Gamma Metroids to deal with. Not too big of a problem there. And yeah, as I mentioned, totally could have had the Plasma Beam quite some time ago, but that's okay. Doesn't help in the least in dealing with Metroids, so... <laughs> Mildly surprised it wasn't the double beam like it is in Metroid Prime, but that's okay. Metroid Prime? No. Metroid su Super Metroid. Herp derp. So yeah, most powerful gun in the game at the moment. This way, all the way to the right side here. Oh yeah, and I should find another missile reload point. Because we are getting dangerously low on missiles now. There is your space jump ability testing area. If you don't um, have that mastered, there is literally no other way you can get through there, so that's just grand. Okay, right on here. It's like one more Metroid. Oh, a little alpha. Okay. And... And... Is that not it? There we go! Okay! That is Area 4 completed. Yo hoink. So all that's left is just to get back to the main area and drop down to area 5 and we'll call it a video there. I will have to double check. I'm not sure if Space Jump is in area 5 or area 6, but it's somewhere in the nearish future. That's yeah, annoying, but whatever. Okay, whatever, don't even care. Moving along. Definitely gonna have to go back to that missile reload spot that we found at the beginning of the area. Let me just double check as to where that even was. There. Missile reload, where'd you go? Ah, got it. Awesome, it is on the way out. So that is basically perfect.
And may as well save for safety's sake. basically perfectly set for getting into the next area, dealing with another crop of Metroids. Let's go ahead and get a little bit of uh, health topped off here, because I'm not sure where that last energy can, uh, energy tank is going to be. Can't really rely on that all the time. And yeah, stuff like that is bad. is the best thing that they introduced Spring Ball in this one. If you had to do all of that with the Spider Ball, or even worse, with bomb jumping, it'd be pretty terrible. Alright, so... A very brief sojourn into the good music again, because already we are at the cutoff for be the next area down there. Actually, I think the first level thing we passed was the actual next area. Wait, are you serious? So, I think this area 5... I'm, I'm not going to cut the video here, because, um, yeah, looking at the map, you'll see. Is good to go for a 20. I seriously don't know why they did not include more music in this game. Like, of all the improvements that another Metroid 2 remake included, it was having more music in the game. to say my favorite thing among all the improvements that they made. So yeah, there's a single Gamma Metroid, and that's Area 5.
We're done with Area 5 now. Let's go back to the main map. Earthquake will be happening, yeah, happening any second now. There it is. Toughest area in the game, I tell you, man. So many items and so many things to kill and... The... Oh my god, wow, not a single item. <laughs> no missiles, no energy tanks, no major items, nothing. So, um, screw attack is obviously not in this area, so that means it'll either be in area 6 or area 7. Not honestly sure which yet, but we'll find out as we move along. Really, really curious why this was even an area. They couldn't have included one more Metroid in Area 4 and just... I don't even know. <laughs> ah, back to the good music. And yep, down there is Area 7, I think it'll be. Yeah, down there will be Area 7. Back in the other spot that had the lava will be Area 6, so we'll go back that way, and then I will break the video. And even if I find out that Area 6 only has a single Metroid in it as well, it'll still be a broken video because, um... Now, this has been going on quite a bit, probably enough for two 20 or so minute sections. Alright. Oh, didn't realize I still had that on. technically in Area 6 right now, because, um, I don't think we're going to reach any lava. Pretty sure that, um, yep, uh, the other lava stuff will be for, um, no, are you fucking... <laughs> ah, one Metroid, one missile refill, Two Metroids. Yeah, that's Area 6. Two Metroids, one Alpha, one Gamma, an energy refill, and a missile refill. Once again, no items, no anything else, just two Metroids <laughs> and a pair of refill things. So, anyways, we'll get to that next time. We'll just go ahead and pop this back in the unfinished folder again. And, um, yeah. We will go from there.